would you believe me if i told you that we could have lemongrass tea for breakfast pulao for lunch and wine at sunset absolutely possible in nagpur 65 million years ago and now we have proof let us go have a look at the proof the paleontology deals with the past life okay all all past okay life. that's so right thing. from precambrian right from okay millions of years old on that uh, silica remains in the grasses uh, in the coccolites of dinosaurs and found that the dinosaur were eating grasses which were of uh, rice type because at that time they don't know what is rice they were eating uh, grass which was uh, later on we started domesticating as a rice so so this also proved that rice evolved in india first wow. and grass is evolved in india first around 65 66 million years ago <laughs> <laughs> that was some time back <laughs> yes um change in climate and where everything was changing plants were tr also trying to adjust themselves right. to the change conditions so not only this we have the oldest grape family from india the grapes grapes, grapes. yes wow and they are very just recorded oldest from the mahursari very near to the nagpur so the oldest grapes are all this is growing there uh, no grapes remnants of remnants of means grape seeds are recorded from mahursari So, what is common between his club college, Baba Ramdev College, and dinosaurs? You're wondering, right? Come on, let's go find out. Earlier, you know, there was a dinosaur record from Takli area. So just Takli, where, where we see uh, Ramdev Baba College oh. is there. Dinosaurs there evidence. Was, yes, there were bones recorded. You have you heard about his slop college? Yes. His slop. Uh, he was a he was a Christian missionary who came in India in 1844. He was the first who discovered many many uh, fossils, vertebrate wow. fossils, fishes, bones, plants, dinosaur remains from from this Nagpur. And you know his slop college is there. It is because of uh, on his name this college, his slop college. And so, though we did not have the Himalayas, we actually had the equatorial rainforest because we were very close to the equator. And we were quite separate from the Gondwana land. Wow. We were just very near to the equator, separated from all the continents. Even if I told you that our own state of Gujarat, which is actually a very semi-arid state, once a part of the thick equatorial rainforest, it was a volcanic activity. India then came to the equator. Then it started the equatorial climate. Oh. Rainforests were there. Wow. So, so we, we have rainforests. Uh, yes, we have. Oh. <laughs> Uh, presently we have very small Three rainforest uh, yes but uh, but earlier there was extension in gujarat so, so much fun we actually found fossilized dinosaur eggs quite intact this is a sort of theropod dinosaur theropod means meat eating with the dinosaur okay. you must have uh, heard about uh, yes the t-rex of america oh. that is that is an american <laughs> indian you know, have raja saurus Little, yeah. No, yeah, these little, the, the rough part that you see, these little little dots, they are actually a part of the dinosaur's shell. How interesting is that? And then, of course, it filled up with sediment and Sediments. things like that. Yes. And we also found the dinosaur's poop. This is dinosaur's poop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it has solidified over solidified, the years. Solidified. Yeah. And it, near near Chandrapur, uh, there is one locality called Pichdura, which which has lot of these coprolites. Uh, you can see in the field. But both of them gave a lot of insight into the existence of the flora and the fauna of that period. And so many, you can distinctly this make out the petals. Leaf. You can actually distinctly make out the petals. The, you can see make out the some leaf structure, yes. something like oh, that, yes. some oh, yes. seeds and all that. You can you distinctly can see them. Yes. Yes. So this this shows that they were plant, plant eating, eating animals. And if if it is not plant eating animal eating, you will get some scales Sales. or bones of right. uh, animals. Right. So while the volcanic eruptions wiped out the dinosaurus population in the Indian subcontinent, it started around sixty-seven million years ago. You're talking about the Deccan plateau being formed and yes. the lava platforms and yes. the lava seeds. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. This activity continued for about 
six millions. Some some people say four, some people say Whatever, six. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very long time. For Indian dinosaur, at least it caused they got extinct as this volcanic activity started because climate changed because of the gases that uh, came out from the volcanism. So we have very good record of dinosaurs in the Lameda sediments, in the sediments which were present before the volcanic activity and very few in the sediments which are present in between. There was also another theory that there was a meteorite strike in the Gulf of Mexico which brought about a rapid change in the climatic conditions of the world leading to the extinction of the dinosaur species in the entire two, world. Two strong views that it is volcanism and second view was then Mexico. Now volcanic activity was there, it started much before the disimpact and then because because of the volcanic activity and environment was deteriorating okay. and then impact also came. So the both the mind oh. thing. The Indian plate was moving north towards the Asian plate. Then when India moved towards the north because of the change in climate, they all got extinct. They all got getting extinct. So climate was one of the main why? reasons why they died. Yes, climate is one of the reasons. Now, climate change. Let's look at climate change happening today. Thanks for us to speak to Dr. Sahu. Uh, carbon emission, then um, greenhouse gases emission, then uh, population growth. So the urbanization, by urbanization we were cutting the trees, forest, then we are making the cement jungle. You can see the, the different wars are there, then oh, yes. atomic uh, uh, accidental or war position is there, Chernobyl uh, uh, accident right. was there. Then. So we are putting a lot of things here. Hmm. And these things, if this uh, global warming will continue, then definitely um, after 50 years, situation will be very difficult. Let's go meet Dr. Kadu at the Agricultural University. But uh, nowadays the number of days of rainfall that are reduced and there is very erratic rainfall. Means, uh, you know, one storm you will get 100, 150 millimeter of rainfall and sudden that rainfall. sudden rainfall and that causes the lot of problem. Your flooding problem is there and the, so many time the maximum period uh, you get a drought period. So the farmers that uh, the crops are uh, retrieved because of the uh, rainfall. So these problems are uh, there for the farmers. Even dry period in the Kharif season for more than 15 days is a just like a drought situation, so this can happen every time nowadays. Let us look at the possible solutions. Our minimum forecast we are giving for 7 days. It is called forecast. But what I told is now cast. What is going to next 6 hours, what is going to happen? And from, from this point to 250 km radius, what is going to happen in next 6 hours? That we can precisely we can say where um, our success rate is more than 99 percent. I mean, hail prediction, lightning, cloud, rain, thunderstorm. It is very important. It is actually it is. Uh, we may not think we may not be aware about this. How farmers are getting benefited from this now? They are really getting benefited, and uh, <laughs> you may be surprised if anything is wrong. We in the next one hour or half an hour we will get the call from farmers. Oh. Sir, what you told is not happening here. So also on the uh, these farmers being es es especially from Vidarbha region, they are keenly following the meteorology, uh, meteorology department and especially the forecast and outcast from our office. What did you observe the impact of humans, human lockdown on the environment and the climate? This weather is known for very high temperature in the summer, particularly April and May. Uh, uh, that uh, pollution level was very low. So many things which affected. 
and we found that uh, this place the temperature was not uh, one of the lowest temperature in last 25 years. Wow, this is the message that we actually want to convey to everybody because we want our future generation to have a good healthy life. Use so much pollution that nature cannot repair. So we have to limit our activity within certain uh, uh, means our uh, some criteria should be should not be good. Soybean is the main crop of this year, it is an oilseed crop and uh, the problem arises because of the uh, very high rainfall that the yellowing of the crop. But yellowing of the crop, uh, we have one disease that is yellow vein mosaic of uh, soybean and everybody uh, told that this is yellow vein mosaic and that is viral disease so, so nobody can do it, nobody can cure it. But uh, that was another uh, thing that is not a uh, aloe and mosaic uh, that is because of very high rainfall there is stress which is quite pleasant at present but it may be become very difficult if global warming will continue in the future. This is the only university that is Dr. Pandava the Supreme David having zoo uh, in our control. The solution lies in the past history of this yes. planet. Yes. The historical times you climate said. change because of the volcanic activity, because of the dust, heat, everything. So yes. plants and animals change. If we will do the same thing, now this we are doing it. Human activities are bringing about the same uh, so, so kind if of. We will destroy our climate uh, by air, water, everything. Then it will also change, yes. change our vegetation, and it will indirectly or indirectly affect human beings. Absolutely. Now that the experts have spoken and we know that climate change is a reality, we have to face this grim reality. We need to act right now. Let's act before it's too late, before we become extinct like the dinosaurs.